Welcome to my YouTube channel where I share the knowledge about IT technologies, mainly Microsoft technologies. Before we begin, if you're interested in such tricks and tips in Microsoft Excel and other technologies, just make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications. I would like to tell you something today about the thing that required a lot of work back in the past but today if you have excel 365 it's pretty easy so what we're going to do today we're going to do dependent drop down list so in the past if you wanted to make a list that choice on one list affects the other list you had to really do some tedious work what data are we going to work with look I have this table, it's a real Excel table, so it has been created by pressing Ctrl T, it has some peculiarities with it, but it's not so important for us today. What we have here is the brand column and the modern column and the price column, of course, as well. What I would like to create is the list where I will be able to choose the brand from B to sell and the list of brand must come from the column brand. So what it means that it has to come from this column, it means that whenever I update something, I add a new brand, I want this brand to be included in my drop-down list. Moreover, I would like it to be sorted and what's the most important thing here, I want to have the other drop-down list. So whenever I choose the brand, I want to have the list limited only to models of the brand that I have previously chosen. So how can we do that actually? We're going to use a few new table functions in Microsoft Excel. So the function that is able to retrieve all the items, unique items from the list is called unique. When I type unique, I am able to provide the, the array. And in my case, that is going to be a column of the items that I want to get unique items from. So I'm going to select brand column here. And someone might say, wow, oh, cool, but I want it to be sorted because I want Apple brand to be on top. And I want some other brand like Xiaomi to be at the very bottom. So what can we do? I can just embrace my unique formula, unique function with another function that by natural language, I can just call it sort. That is one of the array formulas functions in Excel 365. And I have the list perfectly sorted. And what's interesting is that you do not get a result like in one cell. You get the result in as many cells as needed. So you might see this little blue border around the range. Moreover, if I try to type anything in here, I'm going to get the spill error because Excel is trying to fetch the data and put it into several cells and it does not have enough space. So it gives me this error that's called spill. So how do I actually move these items? into a data validation list. So I'm going to say B2 cell, go to data, choose data validation, and in the settings tab, I'm going to use list, and in the source, I'm going to show the list. But how to point to that list? Well, one obvious answer might be, well, let's just select cells from I1 to I10. But what if we get another brand in our price list? I'm not going to come back again here and change the date range. That's something I don't want to spend my, waste my time on it. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to show I1 cell and tell Excel that, oh, Excel, you know, if there are items that you spill over the cells, just get them. And I'm going to do it by using the hash sign. And now when I hit OK, I get the list of brands which is perfectly sorted. And if I change any of the brand, let's say I create new brand which is called ZZZ. So when I add it, it adds to my list and I can perfectly choose it from here. But if I change it to AAA, which should be the first item in the list, it's automatically sorted and I can get this item from here. I'm going to revert these changes. What are we going to do next? Well, the next step is to create a list with models, but only of a chosen brand. So if I pick from the list, let's say Google, I want to see only the model, phone models of a Google manufacturer, of a Google brand. So what I might do here, I might create another list and that another list I'm going to fetch also from my table, but I need to filter it first. 
So I'm going to use my filter function to do that. So it's called filter. I'm going to say, well, what I want to retrieve is the list of models, but I want these models to be filtered by taking Brent column and saying, but I only want brands that are equal to the brand that I have previously chosen in b 2 cell. Now, when I hit enter, I get this list. And look, if I change my brand to Nokia, if anyone still remembers Nokia, there was the phone 3310. So if you drop the phone on the floor, you worry about the floor, not about the phone. So when I choose Nokia, I am able to see only these G21, C32 cells, cell phones. So what I need to do now, I need to repeat my step with adding data validation list here. So I'm going to choose data, data validation, allow list, and say that I want to retrieve the list now from K1 cell and all the cells that Excel are going to use to display the result of my formula. So I click OK, I confirm with OK, and I have this drop down list dependent. So let's say I want to choose the other brand, let's say Apple, and when I click drop down arrow, I see only iPhone 14 and 13. And when I choose Samsung, I see only S23 and A54. And it's all dynamic because whenever I add any data, this is a real Excel table, it's going to be included both in my brands list and in my models list. And if I have this list there and use that spill option, I can pick them from my drop down list. So if you like the way I explain things about IT, about Excel and other stuff, do not forget to subscribe and turn on notifications and pop in for more.